Good news, Squeaks is afraid of animals. Also good news, Squeaks is gonna be blindfolded. Ah, you know what, before we start, yeah, hello everybody, welcome to the stream, my name is Maya. This is my nonprofit um, organization. We're at Alvea Sanctuary. We have a bunch of animals here. I'm gonna introduce Squeaks to, by the way, did you know how tall Squeaks is? 6'3". Look at this guy. It's actually crazy, like Maya actually thought I was like 5'5 five, five or whatever. Get off um, your tippy toes. So, <laughs> I'm gonna introduce Squeaks to a bunch of the animals. He's gonna meet all the animals. You guys are gonna meet all the animals if you haven't before. We're gonna meet them in here and we're gonna okay. go outside and we're gonna meet them out there. Don't try this at home. I might die, but for the content. It'd be great. It's, I'm scared. You cannot throw your hands up, okay? Because then it'll make them upset. <laughs> He's shaking. I'm not <laughs> shaking, I'm <laughs> moving. I'm not shaking. Are you ready? I'm... Are you ready? Yeah. What is it? I'm just crying in real life. What is this? It's so heavy and furry. I'm scared. What is it? Oh, it's a stuff. I'm gonna go fuck myself. Oh, God damn it. Okay, no, we're not gonna do the blindfolding thing because he's too scared. I'm not scared. It's just that it would be unsafe for the animals. Squeaks, this is Georgie. Georgie, Hi, Georgie. this is Squeaks. He's an African bullfrog. It's the second largest frog species in the world. So African bullfrogs, an interesting fact about them is they see the world black and white until they age past three years old. And they, if you look at uh, Georgie's hands, maybe we get like a little close up. Georgie actually has these hands through evolution through, to go through some of the rougher terrains. Isn't it crazy to think that I could, I could talk like that and everyone would believe me <laughs> and it would just be wrong. So this is Georgie, you can hold them, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, you put on your hands. All right. Like you're okay, okay. <laughs> put your hands out. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah. But both, you need both your hands because like they die. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> He's a creature. <clears throat> <laughs> you know what's crazy, actually? Now that I think about it, I think that the worst injury I've gotten from any animal at Elvis is from Georgie. Oh, great to know. I think. Let's keep talking. No, no, no. <gasps> This is horrifying. <laughs> So you're just gonna take these tongs, you hold it in front of them. Okay. Okay, and then he'll eat it. Here you go, buddy. How's he? Oh, that's how. He's gonna. Oh. Yeah, very nice. Oh my god. First try. He's one shot. It. That was amazing. Yeah, it was global elite. So. This is toast. That's, that's not toast. That's a. Lizard. His name's Toaster Strudel. Uh huh. Here you go. Like, what's the maneuver? <laughs> like, what do you want my toast to do? Oh, let me just. <laughs> Come on. Okay, what put are you? Put your hand up. Put your hand up. Like, okay. He's shot. Okay. What do you mean you shark? <laughs> you don't, little... don't say that at your hand. No, it to me. just means it's not gonna like cut you. He just has little nails in there, like a shark. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, he does. He's you looking need both at hands, sweet. He's looking at you because he's does like, he who bite? the hell is this? Um, no. This is Toast, he's a blue tongue skank. Um, Squeeze is gonna go ahead and walk around this table with him without dropping him and give you a close up. Look at he's him! So brave. So he's called a blue tongue skank because he's got a blue tongue. Go ahead, show your toast. tongue. Thanks, buddy. No, One toast. more time. Go ahead, yeah. oh, there we go. Thanks for chat for Toast. He has a blue tongue because it's his way of saying, I'm poisonous. But he's not actually poisonous. Oh, it's just a joke. It's just a, a lie. It's called dynamic display. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. I thought that was dynamic display, of course. Does his tail fall off? Someone asked him to check. It can. It can. Um, if actually, he's nervous? When he was a baby, the reason we got him is because um, he was born in Zoom, California, and his brothers and sisters ate his tail. And, and Why? I, I don't know. I feel like Toast and I, you know, it's been a long time. Uh, we locked eyes, and uh, I don't want to like gossip or anything, but Toast started uh, sticking out his tongue to me. So, message received, I guess. I think this has gotten me over my fear of animals. That's a snake. He's a ball python. He's just a baby. He's gonna get, he's gonna get a little bigger. Wait, um, so what? What makes him bald? Ball. Oh, stupid. Ball. <laughs> I just heard something else. Ball python. B-A-L-L. They're called ball pythons because when they get scared, they curl up in a ball. Did I touch them? Yeah. Uh, I've never held a snake. Oh, very scaly. Is it what you expected? No, I thought snakes would be slimy. Right? Yeah. yeah. Where, how do I hold them? Like, do I just go, oh, let me just, once again, I need some instructions. <laughs> put, your, put your hands up. Okay. And I'll, I'll just put them. Okay. That's not pretty good. Okay, I'm yeah. just. Jeez, can, I, can he like not look at me? I feel like there's like a lot of awkward tension. <laughs> oh, awesome! My wrists are in danger. You like him? No. I love him. Your wrists are... <laughs> it's so nice! He's only got one eye, that's why his name's Patchy. He was born with one eye. That's fucked up. Okay. <laughs> it's not that bad, right? No, no, it's great. He's, he's not that bad. I'm not sweating because of the animals, I'm sweating because of the heat! So much. We don't need to zoom in! <laughs> 20% of snake species are venomous. There are 3,000 species of snake. Wow. Um, so there aren't that many that are venomous. So it's like safe. 
Relatively. You're yeah. nine times more likely to get struck by lightning in the US and get bit, or then die via venomous snake. Yeah, unless you like have one wrapping around your hand. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's true. I don't agree with generalizations, funny names, etc. It's like having a one leg creature and calling him pirate. You know, it's like just, it's inappropriate. What is this? <laughs> I don't like that I don't see it. Aww. Marty! It's a roly poly! There's Marty is a zebra isopod. Okay, this is this is like the Mediterranean version of your roly poly. And they're very important because they're detritivores, which means they eat dirt and poop. Oh, so they're like genders. Yeah! I call this my gateway bug. What do you mean? There's like this is there's gonna be bigger, scarier bugs? Yeah. Oh you I can he's heavy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good. What are we talking what are we talking about? The economy? <laughs> Barbara is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Uh -huh. Just like the ice ponds breaks down organic material, attracted to decaying material, so uh -huh. rotting food, trash, whatever, because uh, they're there to break down those things and to make our soils healthy. So, getting mad at cockroaches for being in your home is like getting mad at a firefighter for being at the site of a fire and put it out. They're just there to help. Wait, so uh, I'm just gonna hang out with Barbara, huh? Yeah, what do you think? Okay, the more I hold Barbara, the more I uh, I fuck with Barbara heavy. For real. Barbara's one of my Isn't favorites. Cute? Yeah, Barbara's one of my favorites. And I was very scared. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, but Barbara's won me over. You said that you had previously attempted to kill a cockroach in your apartment. Does that mean you were unsuccessful? How did that work? I think we're done here. The cockroach did run away. I didn't see it. Uh, oh, there's a fight going on. Oh, what the hell? I did not, uh, I didn't see the end of the cockroach. The cockroach is still in my apartment, but after the Salvea's trip, I'll celebrate it. I want to know their views on war. This is Siren. Good boy. She's a blue friend today, Amazon. Hello. Say hello. 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 <gasps> Wait, that was awesome. She can laugh. What's so funny? What's so funny? She'll give kisses and say, I love you. Can you say happy birthday? That was a happy birthday. <laughs> that was a sound effect. No, it's her saying birthday. Oh. Sorry, say happy birthday. birthday. People are like, oh, so cool, but they're tough and they're so fun. Yeah. Um, yes, but they also are super loud. They're super destructive. They can chew through wood. Like this. Whoa. Um, they can bite easily through skin. They can break fingers. Yeah, but do they? Um, they yeah, absolutely. Defensively or are they like uh, Yeah, attacking? absolutely. Um, awesome. Not like a, she won't like, attack you. Huh. Um, but. And they're really loud, and so they don't make good pets. A lot of people get parents as pets, and then they're like, oh my god, never mind. Yeah. And then they end up in rescue. Siren had some choice words for me, specifically, meh, meh. but other than that, I thought Siren was pretty chill. Now that Maya's not here, it's not, it's not saying birthday. It's making a sound. It's a, it's a sound effect. Mia. Mia. Mia's an African gray. There you go, buddy. That's nice. Good job. Mia species is endangered because of the pet trade primarily and habitat loss, but uh, pet trade, people think they want these birds as pets, so yeah. they import a bunch of them, sell them as pets, and then people are like, oh my god, I can't have this in my house, and then they end up in rescues anyway. Uh, this is Tico and Miley. Oh, they're, they're best friends. They're our best friends. They're actually uh, pair bonded, but they're girls, so they're gauge. Oh, well, pair bonded means like they hook up? <laughs> like, why don't you just say what it is? You mean pair bonded? <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't have to sound like all science either. They hook up. <laughs> no, they're just bonded together oh, okay, as a pair. Okay. I, I don't know how to say it. It doesn't mean they have sex. They're just no. Like bonded. They're just together forever. Yeah. So. Like emotional sex. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give Squeaks a pecan. Oh, I have a peanut allergy. Just a fun fact. <laughs> can you not touch this? I can touch that pecan, not peanut. <laughs> I'm just like, F1. I don't know why I said that. You're sitting right there, and you're going to have a competition with Tico uh, for how fast you can break that open. Oh, I have to break it open? Yep. Not with your teeth, just your hands. One, two, three, go. <laughs> How do you break? Can I use? Can I put it on the floor and stomp on it? <laughs> I cracked it. What's up now, Tico? Tico's like, that's not oh. allowed. What's Tico's up now? Oh. Okay, Miley, can you show him? So, Makaz. See, I'm telling you, it's not regulation. The point is. They have very strong beaks. I'm a pretty strong guy, so if I can't break something, I'm pretty sure that there's something wrong with the uh, equipment. Uh, so I'm gonna send my people over here to make sure everything was up to snuff and uh, make sure nothing uh, strange is going on in terms of the uh, macaw competition. Welcome to the chicken coop. This chicken is coop. Oliver. Hey Oliver, how's it going, man? Put your hand out like that. What? <laughs> Why? Come on. Oh, that's oh, so that's nice. So nice. <laughs> this is so cool. Good now, job. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I have very small wrists. It's like a trapeze. <laughs> okay. All right, another one. <laughs> uh, that one looks like it wants to fucking kill me. Um, heads up, it hurts oh. a little. Oh, it does. 
Thanks for saying that after. I don't know crazy about chicken eggs. Oh, oh do I? Um, chickens are commercial eggs. Will lay like between 200 and 300 eggs a year, right? So they yeah. lay an egg every day. Their closest wild relative will lay like 12 years. So the chickens are here as ambassadors for the agricultural industry. What uh -huh. food labels to look for? Um, if you guys are looking for eggs in the store, if you want to look for um, the most humane eggs that you can find in the store, look for the certified humane label. Oh, so like free range? What is that? Is that a nonsense thing? Dude, or? They're so nonsense. It free is. Free range, cage free. They're all such nonsense. Even pasture is nonsense if it doesn't have that label on it. Hi. <laughs> He's like thumbnailing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a good thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beast did what? So this is Stompy. Stompy's an email. It's an Australian bird. Uh, we got him because he was born at a zoo in California, but the, his mom didn't sit on his eggs. So he was incubated uh -huh. by humans, raised by humans, transported here. Hi. Oh, wait, I'm really warming up to this guy. Yeah, you're friends. You want to give him a hug? Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Yay, chicken. Wow, I love you. Aww. <laughs> I love Stompy. Stompy's so nice. Stompy's an ambassador to talk about the exotic meat trade. Actually, emu meat was really popular back in the 90s. Less popular now. Wait, yeah. so why would people emu trade? Like, what? what's the purpose? It's just like to collect? It was an alternative to red meat in the 90s. Oh. So, yeah, people would farm emus. Hi, yeah, buddy. Wow. So you're friends. I'm friends. You're friends. This is Sarah. Um, I've had him for like 12 years. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> the dismount. Oh my god. Wait, look, the emu and the horse, they get along. Stompy. They're friends. Stompy actually really likes him. Oh, that's so sweet. I think we can learn a thing or two from animals. Wait. <laughs> um, oh, this is not pleasant. Um, Maya, so uh, <laughs> looking for some help here. Yeah, 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 yeah. See <laughs> No more. Uh, yeah, that fall was totally planned. Maya and I were talking before about like something funny to do. So yeah, don't believe everything you see on stream. It was totally part of the script. Uh, just as like a funny joke for you guys at home. Who is your favorite goat? This one. As long as I don't get headbutted, <laughs> I am terrified. It smells quite strong. Again. Crazy, right? It smells crazy. Yeah. So foxes. Um are pretty, have like a pretty musky scent, but kind of like a weed smell. Yeah, it does smell like weed, I was gonna yeah. say. And they, yeah, they, they mark everything. Um, so they <laughs> pee and poop on everything. Oh. We have two European red foxes here. Um, I'm gonna give you some of their food. And you can... <laughs> Don't laugh, because I'm gonna and die. You're gonna, no, no, you're gonna, you're gonna... Oh. Aw, cute! So cute. He was bred for the pet trade, so that's why he's not red. It's also why he's not releasable, is because he was born and raised in captivity. Thank God for Alveus then. Yeah, so he gets to live here. Don't be scared. Um, so these foxes are ambassadors to talk about both the pet trade and the fur trade. Fur is less popular now, which is great. But people have like foxes as pets? Some people do, yeah. Why? They think, for TikTok? Know, they think, yeah, dude, they think they're cute. They're like, oh, it's cooler than a dog. Yeah. The reality is, one, they just, they need to be outside. And then they mark everything like your house would smell like this. But way worse, because this Ew. is like open air, yeah. you know, like enclosure. I had to drive them back from California. Like, must, I, I drove probably a bus. Pissed <laughs> dude, three days, crates in the back of my car, both of them. It was one of the worst animal smells I've ever experienced. Before. Really? It was crazy. There's another one. You see the other one? Yeah, the red fox. We it won't... looks like something on a social studies textbook. Crazy, right? Yeah, it looks um, insane. We won't go over there because he's he's chilling. But that's Reed. So Reed was born in the wild, was orphaned as a baby, yeah. raised by people. It's kind of like Abbott. Oh, okay. um, he just doesn't know how to take care of himself either. Any animals that have the ability to be wild should be. For them, it's either remain in captivity and we take care of them the best we can and we use them for education so that it happens to less foxes um, or they're euthanized. Look at that spider. What the fuck is going on? Okay, I... This is insane. <laughs> you wanna hold him? No! <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah! So this is an arachnid, it's a harvestman. It's not a spider, but it looks like a spider. Yeah. It's not a spider because it can't spin a web. Um, but they like to live in colonies. Good guys, nice, squeaks. Thank You're friends. You. But yeah, he doesn't have mouth parts big enough to break through human skin, so he's completely harmless. Oh. Hi. Hi, harvest. Oh, he waved! He's waving! <laughs> he's Wait, he's actually waving! Yeah. <laughs> Any uh, final words for Alveus or Maya? I enjoyed it. This is good work that everyone's doing. And uh, thank you so much for inviting me. And I'm excited to come back eventually. 